Parental advisory. It means I say shit. What up, fools? It's James, Wiseman Times. Welcome back. So, in the last video, I was talking about uh, my car and the problems I had with the inspection and everything. Well, what? I, had, I gotta head out, so let's let's head out into the car and we'll we'll discuss it there. So last we checked, uh, last video, we were dealing with the car. Uh, my buddy here, Mike, he has his own uh, mechanic and everything, and I, we worked out a deal that'll allow me to uh, you know get my car registered and everything like that. Thank you for everybody for your suggestions and your help. They were really helpful. Me and my buddy Mike had a discussion about it. You know, short of trading in the vehicle and putting that towards a new car or a uh, used vehicle at a dealership. And the only reason it was so expensive is because if I went to an actual dealership, like not a dealership, but a, like a corporate style mechanic. Uh, after speaking with my buddy, um, he said his mechanic can do a lot, all the work uh, for a fraction of the cost. Crisis diverted. Then I went to go get my license renewed, so I don't have any proof of address, so I need to get, uh, I had to set up uh, mail st uh, statements at my bank, so I have to wait for that before I can go in and get my license exchanged, and in turn, it's going to take me more than two weeks uh, because of my insurance, I got my insurance switched, it, basically in the end, the initiative I took in getting everything switched over when I got here, trying to be on the ball, so to speak, bit me in the ass. Um, and I explained that to the insurance lady. So now the insurance lady understands, and, uh, and I basically just had to tell her, you know, I, I, I jumped the gun. I got too far ahead of myself, and, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta need a little bit of time to get everything registered and switched over. So, so with all that being said, today I have an interview. Yay! Yay, we have an interview. But first, I have to go find a place to print off resumes. Uh, so I need to go find a resource center, an employment center, or something like that. So let's go do that. And then we have the interview in a couple hours. I might have a job right off the bat in a pretty good restaurant too, in a decent area of town. So let's get this all going, shall we? Oh. Hey, while we're doing that, do you guys want to take a picture of what happened in the kitchen while I was sleeping last night for five, five hours? Just, just look at this. You see this shit? What the fuck is this shit? My god, I can't even go to bed for five fucking hours and you guys shit and piss everywhere. Oh my fucking dogs are so stupid. And my cat still hasn't given one fuck. <laughs> See, that's why I love cats. Cats, they, they take care. I don't have to. Oh, uh, no. Let's get the day started, shall we? Let's get rolling. All right, new resumes printed off. All my Calgary info and everything. Trying out a new... Uh, a new style for my resume. So that's one key I find with looking for work is that you have to evolve your resume to the times. You can't just keep using the same template from fucking Microsoft Word 98. You know, you just you got to evolve. You got to you got to grow it. You can't you can't just use the same headings that you've been using since you were 12, right? You got to you got to evolve it. So I mean, the resume is the first key cuz you have to distinguish yourself from a pile of paper. And the only way to distinguish yourself is to change the template of your resume and make it unique. And the only way to make it unique is to change the format of what is in it. And you gotta be creative with it. You gotta make it look nice. You gotta make it look, uh, you know, pleasing to the eye and how you have it set up and where the margins are and stuff like that. So, um, it's, it's, it takes a while to get it right and takes a while to be able to pop them out like I do, just like that. Um, but you know, once you get it, you know, getting that phone call generally for the most part is pretty easy. So now that we got the resume all done, oh come on, car, there you go, you little piece of shit, stop doing that. Um, so now that we got the resumes all done, I printed off a whole fuckload of them. Um, so now we got, uh, I got about an hour. Well, we said between two and five. I said around three, so I guess. I should head over there now. I guess it's it's a decent drive. So let's just fast forward to that. Ready? Three, two, one. After the interview, go. You just look at that. Now I'm six four. So. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shops here in Calgary. All these toys and figurines. shops and everything. 
So. Pretty sweet. This is like a geek haven. So how did the interview go? It went pretty well, actually. It's a pretty busy restaurant. They do, uh, like you said, 100,000 a week, which is ridiculous. Um, but they do two interviews, uh, and I, he said he would love for me to come in for the second interview, which is really cool. Um, here I am vlogging in public again. Ugh. I almost forgot what it's like to vlog in public, actually. Getting all the people looking at me weird. <laughs> anyway, interview went well. So he wants me to come in in a few days to talk to the chef. Uh, he's in Vancouver right now. So uh, it went well. So I have that on Sunday. And on Saturday we have something special to look forward to. Um, I have a meetup to go to. I decided to join the Canadian Astronomical Society. So on Saturday we have a meetup. We're going to go uh, to the city's tele uh, observatory, I guess you could call it, and uh, we're going to do like a, a, a sky viewing. There's like 20 or 25 of us. And if I get it in time, you guys will see a little treat that I got myself, something that I've always wanted, and something that will bring me a lot of excitement. Um, so you guys have that to look forward to this weekend. But now, let's check out the mall, shall we? This is one of my favorite sculptures here in Calgary. It's a lot of history with dinosaurs and archaeology here in Alberta. This is at the entrance. There's more upstairs, as you can see, so let's go upstairs. And nothing is complete without having my dirty little fingers in it. This is a footlocker I used to work at. Good memories in there. I actually met the game working there. Uh, you guys know the game from uh, G-Unit, uh, 50 Cent and all that. Yeah, he came in, uh, it was actually the, the day that him and 50 Cent split up from G-Unit. It was the day he was supposed to have a concert here in Calgary. And instead of doing his concert in Calgary, he decided to come here to this mall and go shopping. And as he was walking past our store, the guy in the store saw him coming down the aisle and went in and blasted his CD. So as the game was walking past Foot Locker, he heard his CD playing. So he came in and he bought like 15 pairs of Air Force Ones from me. It was insane. He stayed, he talked to people, signed autographs and all that sort of shit. I got mad commission off of that too, by the way. But uh, yeah, I have my dirty little fingers in almost everything in this city somehow. So now we're up on the second floor. You can see the dinosaur a lot better. And then you go up here. That's not even the best part. You go up here. Got planes. Yeah, this is a pretty cool mall. I got another one over here. Still doesn't beat that dinosaur though. It's so awesome. Uh, time for some yummy eats, some Bourbon Street Grill. First, little merry-go-round, go, go horsies, go. All right, time to chow down on some yummy chicken. We got honey mustard chicken with some bourbon street rice, corn, and some bourbon style chicken stuff. So, hold 
lot being said and done today. I think we're making pretty good progress, I think. Besides a couple hiccups with the car and the license and all that, the move was relatively easy and simple. Um, for all the moves that I've done in the past, there's always problems that come up, bumps in the road, this and that. But this time went fairly well, I'm quite impressed. So I'm not letting the car issues bother me. I'm trying to put those to the side, deal with those as I need to, and just move forward. I've been uh, hanging out with my buddy Mike a lot. I'll bring my camera over once. You know, we get comfortable with each other and shit again. And, uh, you know, we'll get the work going. Get the social life going. Get the channel going. Progress. Pro oh, best thing about this job, too. It's 20 bucks an hour. $20 an hour. Like, seriously, 20 bucks an hour? For a cooking job, that is insane. A couple, like, okay, in Halifax, you'd be lucky to get 12 bucks an hour. You got 16% tax. Um, plus, after everything's said and done on your paycheck, it's about 30%. Here, the cooking job averages between 15 to $20 an hour. Sure, the cost of living is a little higher, cost of food is a little higher but the taxes are only six percent here and that means when I get my paycheck only six percent of it's taken off there's none of this other extra shit that the East Coast has so I'm really excited about that if I get at this job for 20 bucks an hour that would be fucking insane it would be oh the possibilities and things that I'd be able to go and do would just be endless Almost as endless as this fucking plate of food. My lord. So that'll be it for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed everything up to this point. We're getting things on track here. Hope you guys are appreciating seeing a turn of events in my life for once. But, you know, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves because we all know better. Uh, next video will be this weekend. It'll be a good one. So look forward to that. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you guys next time. We got a possibility of a job. So moving forward. Stay strong, stay wise, your wankers. See you next time. Peace. Before we end the video, I decided on my way home from the mall there to stop into my old the old place I used to work at, the registry, the motor vehicle registry. I had a couple of things here from the bank with my address on it. I decided just to swing in, see if they can do it with what I had. And they did. So I got my license. Yay! Yay, so that's one one bump in the road finished. So now we just need to focus on the car, get the job going, and we're fucking we're sailing, we're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising, folks, we're cruising, we're getting there, we're getting there. That makes me happy that I got that done. So, yeah. Anyway, all right, bye. See you next time. Hey everybody, don't forget, I have Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus for you to share all my videos on if you like them. If you comment, like, share, and all that, it goes a long way to help me out. Also, if you go on to Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, you can keep up to date with Wiseman Times. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.